Hello and welcome. I'm Ken Cutler, Director of Qualified Information Security Professional Programs for Security University, where qualified happens. We're delighted to welcome you to our No Classroom video training approach to the Certified Information Security Professional, the CISSP program. This program is targeted to full-time security professionals as well as those in IT, IT audit, and other areas that need to be familiar with a wide range of foundation information security topics. First, we want to give you background about the Certified Information Security Professional Program, the exam, and the background information you need to be familiar with. Before we go any farther, I'd like to pay a special salute to Mr. Hal Tipton, who many consider to be the godfather of today's security professionalism. Hal is the co-founder of ISC Squared and of the CISSP program itself, and also the guiding light in the common body of knowledge. The common body of knowledge is that collection of knowledge that a security professional needs to be familiar with to be able to effectively communicate with their peers and also with laypersons such as senior executive business management and IT professionals. The common body of knowledge is a very large 300 separate topics collection of relevant security information that's regularly updated so it always remains current and relevant to all topics related to information security. The CISSP exam itself is made up of 250 questions. 225 of those are actually graded. You get six hours to take the test. A passing grade is 700 points out of a possible 1,000. The questions are multiple choice. You get four answers with every question. An extremely important strategy is you always pick the best answer. You may go through the available four choices for a particular question and come to the conclusion, these are all bad answers. These are all wrong. Well, there's no penalty for guessing. So what we try to do at Security University is in addition to giving you the strong knowledge foundation, we also work with you to grasp the psychology and typical approach to multiple choice testing. And we do that with our instructional tips, as well as giving you many opportunities to take advantage of the Security University free practice test, test banks. The course materials received for our program include this video, a student course book, supplemental study guide summaries, sometimes referred to as cheat sheets or quick references, the online free practice test banks that we just mentioned, and also additional online resources. All the tools you need to improve the odds you'll do extremely well in the exam and beyond. Let's take a look at the 10 CISSP common body of knowledge domains. First, information security and risk management, sort of the reason why we're doing all this. The cornerstone domain, access control, telecommunications and network security, often a daunting topic for those folks who are not regularly involved in the technicalities of operating a contemporary TCP IP network. Then we hit cryptography in domain four. Cryptography often appears to be magic to many people. We want to help you bring it down to earth. We want to demystify the whole topic of cryptography. Security architecture and design, putting the theory and abstract requirements of policy into functioning information security controls and IT. Application security, the core of your business. We must take good care of applications from all angles. Up to this point, we've talked a lot about technical and managerial and administrative security. We want to take a look at physical and environmental security to make sure that we're protecting the buildings and everything that's in them, your valuable data, but above all, protecting your most valuable resource of all, your people. We look at operations security. What must be done for the people who are running the day-to-day -day operations of your organization, most specifically the IT group, in terms of making sure that they're doing everything positive to support the security program? And then, God forbid, if you have an airplane fly into your building, incur a flood or terrible earthquake, maybe you will never encounter those, but you have to take the necessary precautions. And that comes under the heading of business continuity and disaster recovery planning. Finally, one of the other drivers beside risk management and information security is legal, regulations, compliance, and investigations. 
Those are the 10 domains of the common body of knowledge that serves as the background for the CISSP. That should give you a clearer picture of the expectations of the CISSP examination process and what you're expected to know relevant to the common body of knowledge. So without further ado, let's roll up our sleeves, let's dig in and get ready to prepare for that exam. Remember, you get out what you put in, so we're expecting big things of you. Best of luck on the exam, best of luck on life after the exam, and thank you for joining us.